So, people may not know, the, the audience may not know. They, I don't know if they watch it, but the Joe Budden podcast, last six weeks, five to six weeks, he's had replacement guests, basically. His friends, Ice and Ish. Roy and Maul and Joe had a falling out. I mean, they're cool now. They've been back the past week. In my mind, this is kind of why you, you got to have all of these conversations if you're going to go into business with your friends. These are the kind of conversations you had. Like, what if this happens and we have a falling out? Like, they don't get it. Like, Joe's name is on all of this shit. This falls, like, if he go broke, they going to be good. Maul and Rory, regardless. You know, they go do something else. This is his network. The Joe Budden Podcast. The Joe Budden Network. Like, the show has to keep going. And Maul, he said on the podcast, he thought the shit was whack that he was putting out. Like, it wasn't the same. Which, I don't really get when it comes to podcasts. Because I don't want to say anything is whack because someone wants to listen to it. Right. I just thought that the they, having Ish and Ice on the podcast gave it like an older feel, older perspective. wasn't as joke time, wasn't as funny, but I got to see how 40 plus year old niggas think as a 27 year old. I think that's pretty informal for me. But I just think if you got a contract, you got to honor that contract. Maul's like, man, fuck that contract, fuck money. Ooh, ooh. I get all of that. You respectful, respectfully, I, I understand where you're coming from. It, Maul said it was about respect for him. Respect. I get that. If you're not feeling respected, it's a conversation that needs to be had. But at the same time, you signed a contract. You don't think niggas in the NBA don't feel disrespected? Sometimes I'm on a losing team and y'all said y'all was going to get players to help us win. We fighting for the AC right now. I feel disrespected. They still got to show up to work. You sure if sure. you have a 9-5 that... You're going to feel disrespected at some point, too. You can't just exactly. not show up to your 9 to 5. You can't? Yeah, you can't. Any job, any sort of any contract. Any job. Any job with a contract. Anything you put your signature on, you can't, you can't just, can't just, just not, not show up and not do that task. Yeah. yeah. You got to do your job. And, and it's like you can be vo you can voice your opinions to the world because you have a platform. You can voice your opinions to anybody. You can start your own you can start your own shit, but you have a contract to fulfill. So once that contract is fulfilled, be cooking your shit already. Should have been cooking your shit. And then already when that time is it's time to come, boom, I'm dropping my own shit. Fuck this shit. Yeah. Keep it a buck. And right. another thing Maul said that Joe said and Joe confirmed this. When Maul was asking about the contracts or whatever the case may be, Joe said that's none of your business. Now nah, Joe's wrong on that point. He's a, yeah, he's out of pocket. You out of yeah. pocket on that point. You can't tell a man a contract that he signed is none of his business. That's my business, nigga. I signed it. I want to see the contract. My whole kill is you should have been looking at. He fucked up from jump. He, he should have been looking at the contract. He should have had the contract from jump. You signed it. But at the same I don't have time, a copy. I could go back to the contract anytime I want. I, yeah, but I don't have a copy. That too. I need should. a copy. I need a copy of what I just signed. Like that seems standard to me. So I think the none you know of how we do business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm, so what did you say? What what uh, contract right here on my phone? I'm looking at it. What you mean? <laughs> That's my cool. lawyer got his on his phone. Looking at it. We on three way. We listen to you. That's how we go play the situation. So it's none of that. He tripping. So he did dumb nigga business, and that was on. Hmm. But that's a tricky. Feel because but everyone don't got that business eye when it comes to their friends. You deal with friends. They've been friends for a long ass time. Now you, Whitey, me, we had these conversations before. We already know like what it is, contract wise and stuff like that. When yeah. stuff start getting signed, that was the conversations you got to as, as comfortable as people may think it is. You got to have them, especially if that's your friend. I understand, but at the same time, it's like if that, like that's your man, how that's supposed to be your man, it shouldn't really be. It shouldn't be no type of uh, uh, um, no waves in in the water. It shouldn't be no type of waves because at the end of the day, you came in knowing what you was getting yourself into. But at the end of the day, you should have did smart business to where you still feel you're getting the most utility out of the deal that's going on, out of yourself. 
how this helped me grow. Then that you get to the right. point, then you get to the point, all right, at the end of the contract, I feel like I want to go a different route. I feel like you may want to go a different route. You know what I'm saying? As my, as your friend, we can have a talk off of the record saying, yeah, I didn't like the new content you was putting out. I think we should go this route. If you don't want to, that's cool. Just my opinion. And kept it the fuck moving. Yeah, but logical niggas talking right now. Three logical niggas. That, yeah, I know like I know Joe. And he, Everybody ain't logical. Joe different, bro. Like, he, All of them niggas is different. Yeah, he got an ego. Be snapping. Like, say, all right, so say if me and, and me and Francis had a problem off camera or something, whatever. I'm still coming in to shoot. The fuck that got to do with the show? You hear me? That ain't got shit to do with that. You think motherfuckers is breaking their business on the news? Like, the fuck? Yeah. Motherfuckers talk shit behind the camera all the time. You think they like that all day on the news? Because no. me, in my mind, I know. Whatever this yeah. is, we gonna get past it. Yeah. yeah. There's some little stupid shit right now. Niggas launching. Keep that shit pushing, bro. Shit got to go. We got to keep pushing. Keep going. Yeah, shit but see, do. you want to know also why it's different for them niggas? Because they already have money. They already have the weight. You know what I'm saying? So like they are, they can do things to, they got pulled. You feel what I'm saying? That's why it's like that with them. Like, because they don't give a fuck anymore. It's just like, bro, fuck you. You feel what I'm saying? With us, it's just like, nigga, we try to get here. Fuck whatever we talking about. You feel what I'm saying? Because that shit ain't that deep. Nigga, we try to get rich. Like, we know where we try to go. Them niggas is already dead. I think that's the difference. But even when we get there, it's just like, nigga, we ain't got enough. Yo. Yo. It's like, nigga, we ain't got enough. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, come on, man. Like, you never have enough. Let's run it up. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think that's what it is with the niggas, bro. Mm. The money. The money is. It's the money. I, I hate blind, when niggas, you know what I, I hate when niggas say money is the root of the evil. Money is the root of happiness. Money runs the world. Say that. Money make me happy. Money, money runs the, the world. It's what, what I think. I think what kill what kill people is them being a glutton and expecting certain things and not doing what it takes to get certain things. Like you expect happiness, but you making money. Okay, you made the money. Okay, go do something that makes you happy. You have the ability to. Your the door is out your way. Go do what you want to do. Everybody don't got. What what's gonna make you happy right now, bro? It could be anything. You French toast is gonna make me happy right now, nigga. Okay, you got money now. Go to fucking France and go get some French toast and enjoy that shit. Like I just did. I just go. Did I just fly to France and get some French toast because it would make me happy? Yes, the fuck it. I did. Like, I <laughs> Look at you smiling, bro. Like what? Like nigga, that's gonna make a nigga smile. Yeah, I don't understand. Sorry. Nigga, get yeah, nigga. That need to be like a little cut right there. That, that dude, you funny. You said dude. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want some French toast? Fly to fucking France and get you some French toast, nigga. You got money. He's just telling nigga, fly to France. All right, cool. You got money. <laughs> but I'm saying, right. enjoy yourself. You need the money though. You need it. I thought that was a Belgian waffle. Wouldn't that be Belgium? That's in Belgium. Ain't Belgium friends? Germany. Oh shit. Woo! Got me on that one. Oh, 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 nah, so what the fuck? France is. That's Italy, right? Paris. Paris. Paris, Paris France. France. Paris, France. France is uh, its own thing. What the fuck is. The, what, Italy, like the Italian Italy famous is of that shit with the towel. The Eiffel Tower, yeah. It's a and towel. fashion. French fries, nigga. You love French fries. Bye. <laughs> they famous for escargot, snail. 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 Oh yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of them like me. They love it out there. What's that? Snail. It's, you eat it's that a shit. snail, nigga. You know what a eat snail is? A fucking snail. Yeah. See, I I heard what you were saying. I'm, you you was just making sure it wasn't comprehending an actual snail, you, yeah. like a real snail. <laughs> was it clicking? <laughs> like a snail. Nigga, snail. Niggas eating snails. <laughs> uh, white people eating snails. Ain't no niggas out there eating no fucking snails. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, give me my fish and chips. I, I don't care. This nigga in his fish and chips, yeah. I, I ain't mad at it, though, bro. I ain't fucking with no snail. As long as the chip got a lot of fucking salt on it. Don't give me no dry ass fucking plain ass chips. That's not the point of the. Alright, a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. So, so the point is to have some dry chips. 
Right. It's not dry. It's dry. I mean, non-seasoned. Shit, McDonald's do that shit sometimes. They forget. They put the salt on the fries. I'd be pissed. And yeah, I do too. I throw them bitches back at them. <laughs> but it happens, you know? Watch out, give me this shit. Culinary people want you to actually taste the food. Like fish, when they be like farm raised beef, we did this, aged it for 50 hours, 50 years, whatever the case may be. First of all, why you sitting on meat that long? Like, brother. <laughs> nigga, you, you, can, you age me. That's what they do. Unless it's Wagyu, that's the only beef I know that niggas age for a brick. I want Wagyu beef. You hear me? I don't even eat steak. I hate steak. I think it's the. I don't like beef like that. Lamb is lamb, but they ate. I like lamb. real beef for you bitch ass niggas, but they ate lamb. Steak is yeah, lamb. I like lamb. But you eating aged lamb? What's an Asian lamb? A lamb? Aged lamb. Yeah. Yeah, I said an aged lamb. Oh, an aged lamb. Yeah, I would eat an yeah, aged lamb. lamb. I would eat that the lamb legs, all that shit, all the expensive shit. My mom hated it. My mom was like, yeah, I, who? Why is your taste pattern like this? What the fuck? Who you been eating with? <laughs> my godmother used to take me to City Island and get me seafood all that goddamn time and I tell them mm -hmm. <laughs> I was eating lobster, fried lobster. This is in early, this is in the late 90s I'm eating fried lobster. Like, before it became a thing. Mm -hmm. Boy, I was living out there with my godmother. She used to be in a mood. That's New York, ain't it? Man. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that New York shit, though. New York is lovely. They all, and the city's brain always got that different taste of food, bro. Like, that shit, you feel what I'm yeah. saying? Like, down here, like, like, me and Herbert was talking about it the other day, like, well, we don't got no place down here for no good breakfast sandwiches. If we was on the south side, I can name four places got good breakfast sandwiches. If we was on any, anywhere in PG, you can name four motherfucking places that got breakfast sandwiches. It's no place in water we got good breakfast sandwiches. Have you tried Crown? They cool. I, I, I would say they good. Crown. What about Miss Katie's? What the hell is Miss Kate? I mean, that's all you can jump. Whatever that joint is next to uh the shell. Marie's. 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 What yeah. is the world of? Oh. Nah, you're right though. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't shit in the world. It ain't nothing out here. I mean, it's it's a couple spots in the plate. Now, I said we could have went to Crown and got the chicken and waffles, but I really like wanted a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, bro. Well, you was on the go, so you probably. Exactly. I wanted some quick shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was after the football game, we tried to go to my, my goddaughter. So they got the croissant sandwiches at Wait. Crown. No. Them croissant sandwiches bro, like, with a little bro, bit of strawberry Jones. jelly on it. I bet you, you, know, I, you know I wouldn't lead you wrong, brother. Nah, because croissants is my shit. And now, now let, let, let me make sure we talk about the same joint. The joint Ray Cross Street checks. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm gonna have to go. And see the joint, and it, it was originally the joint on two. That's two ten Indian Highway. Mm -hmm. It was originally that joint, but they changed the name to Nash over there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know who bought that shit out. But nah, it, it was. They like a cheese good though. Smacking, smacking, boy. Woo, time. Hey, speaking of, I made my mom mac and cheese. I got the recipe down now. Oh shit! I'll make that. She stole your mom's recipe. No, oh, she taught it to me. Oh, shit. I asked her to teach me. Like I was like, cause you be tired of making Thanksgiving dinner, so I'm trying to take. Yo, that's a fat ass bug. What the fuck?